viewers, welcome to another day of another episode of Super Brand Bangladesh. I'm Najmul Karim Chaudhary, your host for Super Brands Bangladesh today. I'll be guiding you in the amazing journey of the Super Brands who will be sharing their stories with us. Today, we have two brands whose journey will be shared. The objective of the show is to share the journey of the brands who have obtained Super Brands Bangladesh. In the next few episodes, we will also be sharing the glorious journey of the other brands of Bangladesh who have also attained this prestigious accolade. Super Brands, the UK-based independent authority on branding, promotes the discipline of branding and pays tribute to exceptional brands all over the world. Super Brands is a global arbiter for brands which operates in more than 90 countries around the world. Established for more than 27 years, Superbrand has become the biggest success symbol for brands. Superbrands has been successfully publishing a prestigious series of books which identify and pay tribute to the strongest brands in the world. The signature publication of Superbrands Bangladesh shares stories of each superbrand, which is a coveted book for senior executives in advertising, marketing, brand management, and in the media. Superbrands Bangladesh has selected through a process which involves independent and voluntary panels of experts from a range of backgrounds known as the Brand Council. In Bangladesh, Superbrands for the year 2020 and 2021 were selected by a Brand Council consisting of eminent brand experts. The objective of Superbrands Bangladesh is to select brands that have been successful in Bangladesh by virtue of the strong links they have built with their customers. These brands are considered to have excelled in their particular fields and stand out from the average. Superbrands team then engages with the selective brands to finalize the brands who will be recognized as the superbrands of Bangladesh. Now I would like to introduce two superbrands of Bangladesh whose journey we will be sharing with all of you today. Our first brand is Singer Bangladesh. Singer started its operation in Bangladesh in 1905. During this 113 year of journey, Singer remained unabated and got bigger, better and more relevant to consumers' aspiration. In the consumer's electric and home appliances industry, this is the only brand in Bangladesh that has such a long and successful history. Presently, Singer has a diversified product range which includes refrigerators, LED television, sewing machine, air conditioners, washing machines, kitchen appliances, IT products, furnitures and many more that remains in the consumer's priority list. Singer has successfully positioned itself as a trusted international brand in the minds of consumers with more than 100 years of presence in Bangladesh that established itself as a super brand today. We also have Boshundhara Paper with us today. The largest paper manufacturing setup in Bangladesh, Boshundhara Paper Mills Limited, with its ethos, efforts, and commitments, ensures the right and quality paper products for its local and international customers. The company was founded in 1993 and considered to be the most promising brands of Bangladesh. This is the only paper manufacturing company in Bangladesh with ISO certificates for excellence in process and quality and for sturdy environmental commitments. I would like to welcome Mr. M. H. M. Firuz, Managing Director and CEO, Singer Bangladesh. Mr. Firuz, welcome to be on our episodes today. Thank you, Nazmul, for inviting me today. Thank you. We also have Mr. Mohammad Taufik Hassan, Executive Director, Marketing and Business Development, Sector C, Boshundhara Group. Thank you, Mr. Nazmul. Thank you, Taufik Bhai, for being here today. I would like to start with Mr. Firuz today. Uh, Mr. Firuz, uh, we all know that Singer is the brand, which is the household name. Most of us, we actually grew up seeing Singer in here because we, you guys are here for, to, from 1905. So how do you explain the journey that it's a household brand and with this new consumer demand, how you have coped up and what are the driving factors behind uh, making Singer one of the biggest brand in Bangladesh? Nazbul, in your introductory uh, message, you basically covered the main points of Singer, but let me just highlight a few things. Uh, yeah. Going back to 1905, uh, I mean, we know Singer started the business with sewing machine yeah. uh, as a single product, as a single brand. Yeah. Now today, we have evolved to almost 20 product categories yeah. and reaching up to almost 10 brands. So, so from a single product 
to a multi-category, to a multi-brand retailer. Uh, and, and through this journey, uh, we actually had the first factory in Chittagong, or I would say Chotagram. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I think we have evolved through and we have television, refrigerator, washing machine, kitchen appliance factories, and there are some more, you know, on the way. So that's another journey that uh, going through uh, the journey in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we have managed to, uh, you know, to take it forward. Talking about Singer, a brand that has sustained in Bangladesh for over 100 years, I think it's a legacy that I don't think in our category nobody could claim. And the, the main thing is, is the consumers of Bangladesh or the customers of Bangladesh who have trusted this brand. And our aim is to take this brand further to the next level. Thank Excellent. You. Back to you, Tofik Bhai. Uh, I mean, we all know how Boshundhara unfolded some of the amazing categories and products in Bangladesh. And I would be uh, very happy if you could share that what are the driving factors behind Boshundhara itself and also the products that we are, that become the super brand, uh, Boshundhara Papers, if you, if you talk about the driving factors behind the success. Thank you, Mr. Nazbul, for giving me this opportunity. And also thank you, thanks to Super Brands and Channel I for giving me this uh, opportunity to talk about one of the triumphant journey of uh, Boshundhara paper. When he launched Boshundhara paper uh, during 1993, that time Bangladesh was almost fully dependent on imports, imported products. Uh, yeah. imported products. Yeah. And, and that particular reason that prompted him to uh, start Boshundhara paper mills unit one yeah. and uh, starting up with uh, writing and printing papers into the market because Bangladesh was then experiencing uh, some sort of industrial revolutions as well as coupled with some uh, good rise of exports in uh, different sectors. Right. So the need was very much rising mm -hmm. and uh, it also uh, helped Bangladesh to save foreign exchequer in, in, a, in a big margin yes. and we could also cover the whole of Bangladesh. So that was basically one of the biggest driving forces. It has been a really a big and triumphant journey, I must say. Excellent. Uh, back to you, Mr. Firoz. Uh, we all know that COVID was an unprecedented situation. Uh, we, none of us has experienced it before, even abroad and here as well. How have you managed to run your operations during the post or COVID period or the post COVID period? if you could enlighten us with some insights. Actually, Nazmul, uh, this uh, COVID is something that's so unfortunate, uh, not only in Bangladesh, I think globally, we all suffered. Uh, the, uh, when you say the categories that we are in, yeah. is, a, is a customer typically who wants to touch and feel the product. Yes, so during the, the sensorial COVID, experience. Exactly. So this is a real challenge that we faced, or I would say also the our competitors, yeah. right? So one of the things that I would say our team did uh, is you know changing the total the business model let it be from communication mm -hmm. from traditional media mm -hmm. to moving on to digital uh, and uh, and how we do business so this is where i would say in terms of communication we change into digital media mm -hmm. and use we used all our call centers mm -hmm. and we used uh, all of the frontline staff calling the customers uh, i would say you know this is where uh, you know we use the maximum the word of mouth contacting our existing customers mm -hmm. and then promoting to another customer. And we also had a, you know, a one call, uh, another campaign, right. where you know, customers to just call a call center, mm -hmm. uh, let it, maybe the customer is from Chittagong or Bogra, mm -hmm. we connected through our network. So it's a central process of It's a central process, the, okay. where our traditional stores are closed right. and uh, you know, the back-end operation has to continue. So even our production, mm -hmm. you know, we were compelled to, you know, to reduce our production. And during the times where the government allowed us to operate, we had to go into two, three shifts. So I would say it was a very good experience mm -hmm. uh, you know, that we went through. Mm -hmm. And still we managed to continue the business. Thank you. Uh, coming back to the film, uh, you, we all know that uh, Boshundhar paper probably is catering more than 30% of the entire markets. And it's huge, considering that COVID has sort of taught us how to maintain social distance. That was also a hard time. Paper needs became high, right? During this time, we all know that because of working from home and all. What was the journey? How was the experience? Well, no one expected COVID uh, and uh, 
how one would expect that your kids would be going, it, it would be attending the classes only on the digital, uh, I mean, tab or computers, Absolutely. laptops, and all That's this good. stuff. So, obviously, the usage of paper, one could expect that the usage of paper shrinked a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I must say that uh, one particular fact before COVID, in Bangladeshi context, per capita paper consumption rose to that level it was never before yes. like 6 kg plus per year per capita so basically huge it was uh, it was at least if i would consider that mm -hmm. 25 years back mm -hmm. it was just uh, in 2019 it was 500% more than 25 years it was yeah um, uh, obviously we have become very much dependent on paper products in our day to day activities right. but uh, during covid the situation turned completely different. Uh, shops were closed. We have got 150 plus dealers all over Bangladesh. We have got our own distribution channels, networks, and all this stuff. It could not run that way. Even up until now, we are just still in the process of recovering, particularly that we lost in that particular exactly. period. I have a very particular question for you, Mr. Firos, regarding the consumer mindset. Uh, there was a time probably back in 80s and 90s when uh, shopping was an experience. We used to go to the store and we used to take the support from the shop assistant to know more about the products. Now the time has changed. Uh, in this digital landscape, we thoroughly research. Even as a consumer, we know a lot more about our competition as well. So in this changing paradigm, what's your journey observing it and making it happen in Bangladesh? Thank you, Nazman. As we know, this ban has a journey of over 100 years. Yeah. Uh, still, I mean, our, our understanding is uh, when we look at the traditional customer, yeah. they still prefer to walk into a store. Yes. Then coming back to your question about mm -hmm. the, the modern customer, I would say the new millennials, mm -hmm. things have changed. Uh, I think you, you gave the answer, I'm just trying to repeat. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the, their consent is not to walk into a store and they, they do the search process yeah. and they're quite knowledgeable mm -hmm. in the digital media yeah. uh, and, uh, and the time. Uh, I mean, we are, we are in a rat uh, race, you know, so, so everybody would like to save time. So basically the new millennials or the new generation, they basically search through. Yeah. Uh, the, the only time they walk into our store mm -hmm. is just to check the product. Yes. So it's more of an in experience. Fact, in fact, some, you know, they don't even visit because they, mm -hmm. when they know, I mean, our brand also, if you are selling a brand like Samsung or Beko, yeah. these are all international brands, they know with the singer, the legacy, uh, they just order online mm -hmm. and we deliver yes. uh, and uh, it's another challenge for our company as we uh, go through this uh, the cycle mm -hmm. uh, it's inevitable we need to change the business model otherwise Singapore wouldn't have you know survived for 100 years yeah, absolutely. so it's another challenge that we are uh, spe especially after the COVID mm -hmm. that we have gone through uh, and if you ask me the question 10 years down the line how this business is going to be evolved what you see today single is going to be totally different and especially, I want to bring in um, uh, the, the help from our, the, the major the shareholder. Mm -hmm. Now we are part of a, a Fortune 500 company, yes. the only uh, the Fortune 500 company in Turkey. So they operate in 150 countries. Mm -hmm. So with their, the support, mm -hmm. so all the transformation is happening to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the people in Bangladesh, they, they will see this uh, change happening. In Very excited and we are uh, so happy that in Super Brands we have talked about it. <laughs> we are looking forward to it. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Great. Moving on to Tofik Bhai. Uh, Super Brand, when we get the recognition, the accolades, I believe that the top brands, they never work uh, to get the accolades. They get it in, on their process, on their way. But an award, a recognition helps. So how do you how do you measure or evaluate this recognition when you become recognized as super brands that it's uh, that how uh, how it's going to inspire the, your followers our competitions even who is following you as a company who established a benchmark of success what uh, advice you'd like to leave for them if you could enlighten us well <coughs> for Bosundara paper uh, we are quite blessed and uh, we feel uh, uh, honored and uh, very much grateful to Super Brand mm -hmm. that this is the second time yeah. we have been recognized as Super Brands. So uh, basically for Boshundara Group, uh, since we consider Boshundara Group as a sort of a powerhouse of innovation, we do a lot of research, not only with the product, but also 
how the customers, how the consumers, they are thinking, their trend is moving. Yes. So obviously with regards to all this stuff, the entire innovation works. Mm -hmm. uh, industry experts, we are uh, very much blessed to have in our facility. Obviously the innovation starts from there and uh, Basundhara paper mills, it is not only con not only manufacturing Basundhara paper, mm -hmm. but also some other products yeah. that are made of up, up product like Basundhara exercise book. Mm -hmm. The students in Bangladesh, Basundhara paper mills uh, is the only company, the first company to introduce uh, uh, paper, um, exercise books from a branded house, branded mm -hmm. exercise books. So previously we used to ha get the paper, uh, paper made uh, exercise books from small uh, like you know household type of uh, like cottage industry like thing. So Basundara Paper Mills Limited is quite blessed to have uh, ISO 9001 in terms of manufacturing excellence, mm -hmm. 14001 for uh, our commitment to the environment. Also we are very much committed to the uh, forest because you know pulp is one of the in ingredient of papers. So obviously you need to be very much committed to the nature. So we get our pulps from those uh, sources. Pulps are not uh, available in Bangladesh, so we, ha we are required to import pulps from uh, some foreign sources. So basically we always select those sources, they are committed to the uh, environment. So that's why we are also FSC COC certified, Forest Stewardship Council. Yeah. So uh, basically these are all together reasons why we are super brand. super brand. So super brand is not a mere recognition, yeah. it's something unique for this brand. And we are very much thankful to super brand for the second time we are honored for this, uh, with this uh, particular Thank accolade. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much to as well. And uh, I believe that with this inspiration, in, in coming years you will see Singer will be recognized as super brands again. Inshallah. And also the same thoughts for uh, Boshundra papers as well, because we, we are going to see much stronger uh, Boshundra paper as super brand as well. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you Nazma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you viewers. That would be it for today's episode to Singer Bangladesh and Boshundra paper from Super Brands Bangladesh. Hope to see you in our next episodes with more brands that are near to us and are the Super Brands of Bangladesh.